Ciao everybody, how are you today? I hope you are having a really nice week or day or end of the week, depending when you will be watching this video. Uh, so first of all, thank you for uh, joining me uh, again, if you, if you already watch any of my videos and if you are new and you know you will enjoy this one, I really hope that you might thinking also of um, subscribing to my channel, liking the video, you know the same, always the same stuff is gonna help me uh, to, to support my, my channel. Um, in my channel I'm gonna talk always <laughs> or almost always about makeup, skincare, anything that is related with makeup. We do reviews, we do tutorial, we do chat about different products. I am gonna uh, review with you a new foundation. Uh, I know that a lot of people already uh, went through the review of this, this foundation. He went uh, almost viral, lots of people really love it. Uh, I have seen also some reviews that were not, um, you know, so keen uh, about this, but we will look at that together. Uh, I already used this foundation for uh, two days, yesterday and the day before, uh, also in some extreme condition. And I am talking about the new uh, Charlotte Charlotte Tilbury uh, foundation is the beautiful skin foundation. There is a lot <laughs> And that makes me laugh. Uh, I know everybody is, uh, is uh, laughing about this. All uh, the uh, claims of, of the foundation. Um, in general, this is a foundation with also some uh, skincare. It claims to uh, help uh, to improve your skin uh, appearance uh, while you are using the foundation. Uh, there is um, a claim that is you know, saying that the foundation is undetectable, really light on the skin, um, light to medium coverage that is uh, gonna be buildable. Um, it's gonna help uh, to uh, help on hydration, um, skin looks uh, plumper and smoother, and also um, to even up the um, the discoloration or you know your your skin tone in general, helping also to minimize the pores, reducing appearance of pigmentation or dark spot, and also uh, being uh, brightening your your skin. So it's like wow, that's a miracle. Uh, let's see if we will think that is um, doing what it's claiming. I have got the uh, number five neutral. This is the package. In terms of the package, you have the pump. Also, what is good, I know that a lot of people were sharing this, is that the pump is actually like this, is a small one. It's quite good for when you are getting almost uh, done with the with the foundation. 30 ml or one uh, ounce. Uh, we can just proceed. Just to let you know, uh, I wear that this foundation yesterday as well. Uh, I wear it from more or less 10 a.m. in the morning until uh, 10 in the evening. Uh, during the day, I had a couple of workouts at home and then I also had a volleyball session in the evening. And I will tell you later um, how, how it went. Let's look together the, the application. So I'm gonna shake it. Oh, sorry, I forgot. In terms of my uh, my prep, I already have my skincare. Uh, I'm just gonna use the milk um, primer. The other day I was doing some uh, editing, and I wanted to. Um, in terms of uh, when I edit, okay, and I'm just cutting and removing some parts, etc., etc. I was saying to myself, Marta, you have to stop doing your M, M, M. But <laughs> it's, I don't know, I, I, can, I cannot. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, the more I think about it, um, the more I, you see, the more I do it. So, 
sorry about that. I hope that is not so annoying for you as much as it is annoying for me when I do the editing. We use the, uh, the primer, as you see, just to share with you, my skin changed quite a lot in the last few months. I went from being really oily to being quite dry and uh, sensitive. You see that there is quite a lot of redness, there are some dry patches and that's why I use some um, more uh, specific skincare for sensitive skin um, and also I use the primer that is more hydrating primer. Let's go, I will show you also. This is one pump, so one pump is quite substantial for our start. Just give me one second, I want to put my air away. And yes, I have to go to the hairdresser to get my root done. But let's not look at that, okay? Can we? Let's not talk about that. Then I'll go with my beauty blender. And as usual, and as I said in my previous video, um, I, I was sharing like few tips on how uh, to avoid look um, older <laughs> with makeup and what I was sharing basically were a few, few tips that I use myself uh, when I start to see differences uh, in my skin because I'm getting older, I am in my 40s, I am 41 um, so I am starting with the really thin layer and then uh, I will add, if I need to, I will add some more coverage only where I need. Now, that was one pump and, so sorry, I am a little bit sniffling as well. Um, so yeah, that was one pump. This is the result of one pump. I think it's good. That's the first layer, really, really light. Like, I feel that is, it is a little bit wet, but I have to say, I, that's true, like it, it is undetectable, like I don't feel anything, like I, I feel like I don't have anything on my skin now. Coverage is a good light to medium, um, I will get you a little bit closer. Let's get just a little bit, like another half pump and I will try to cover more of the redness and more of my discoloration. I have discoloration mostly on that side, um, the lower part of my, of my uh, chin, or sorry, um, uh, well, of my uh, face, and on the forehead it's really dry. So I have like dryness, <laughs> redness, and then uh, discoloration and dark spots. And that's also with the second layer. What do you think, guys? Then we go with the concealer, and this is the one from Dior. I have got the new one, guys. Uh, and I have got the number 2N. It is quite good also for my skin. So I will add just a couple of dots in there. A lot of times when I use a foundation that is more um, light coverage, I will just pump, um, pump it up a little bit with, the, um, with some extra concealer just to uh, spot concealing just the areas that I need to blend out the concealer. Okay. This is the concealer done. If I touch, I don't feel like it's not all dry. It is a little bit uh, still wet, but just a teensy bit like on some, some specific 
areas. So I am gonna set, but uh, I'm gonna set only in some part. I will start first with setting my under eye and as usual, you know that I love uh, this one. I will set my under eye with the uh, Pat McGrath um, powder and I'm using a puff, just pressing, okay, that's good. And then to, uh, to set just a small part of my face, I'm gonna use the uh, Givenchy Prism Libre and this is the number three. I'm gonna use what is in the lid as I say always just to remove the excess and then I'm just pressing on this area really is the triangle kind of area that I really like to set because it's where there are more of my pores the second part it would be on my chin and here as well and so I just finish then we can go with our uh, bronzer, contouring, etc, etc. So for contouring and bronzer, I'm going to use, just because we are using Charlotte Tilbury, so I will use the Nude Gasm uh, Face Palette. And I'm starting with the contour shade. And then I go again, but I will mix the contour with the bronzer shade. So I'm gonna go both, just stop the excess and I'm gonna go just a little bit higher than where was only the contouring, like so. Last part, uh, just because we are fancy today, so I'm gonna do a little bit of the contouring into the nose. Oh, one air. Yeah, that's gonna be just a little bit. Then we go into the blush. We're gonna use the blush from the palette. And this blush, it is very luminous anyway. We love that. And last, the uh, highlighter. That's really nice. Now, shall we finish just the lower eye makeup? For reference, I used the Natasha Denona Biba palette. I used the brown seed just to dip uh, my uh, contour and basically I have done all together the contour and also the transition it's all one um, and then I used Moro this pink to the rest of the lid the central part and the one third and then I used the makeup uh, by Mario for the eyeliner we are going to use a small brush uh, this one is the mini booster from Sonia G uh, again with seed Just to smoke the lower lash line and just join you know the two the lower and the top lash line and last uh, we are going to use with the small brush like the flat small brush. This is the refer 28 and we go again uh, with Moro at the internal part just to give that luminosity. That's good. Last it's gonna go with our mascara. So I first curl my lashes and I'm using the Lancome Idol Lash. The really uh, nice effect is not the most drama um, wow lash uh, mascara, sorry. However, it is nice. It's um, defining well the lashes. It's giving some length and you can build it. I think that I was building it a uh, three coat and it's still okay and they still look quite 
nice and also what I liked about this as I told you before I often have issues with mascara smudging especially in the lower lash uh, for me and I don't like it when that happens but it's not happening with this mascara I think it's a good one what do you think guys don't forget <laughs> as usual please help my channel don't forget to um, thumbs up share maybe with your friend if you think that someone can be interested if you want to help me to make this channel grow okay i think i like it i'm gonna get for my lips this nurse uh, good time um, velvet matte lip pencil This pencil it's quite comfortable, it is easy to use, I really like it. And on top we are gonna go again with the NARS, I have got this in a sample um, from one of those um, sample bags that they will send you sometimes with the with your order on cult beauty I think it was uh, where you were spending a certain amount of money and they will give you a lot of um, test uh, to try and this is this is the lipstick uh, in orgasm it's nice yes we like it so for now okay just to recap so this foundation it is actually doing what it's claiming i just get you a little bit back uh, it is actually doing what it's claiming. It is long lasting. As I said yesterday, I went through the whole day. I went through a workout during the morning and then uh, two hours, as I said, of volleyball in the, in the evening. And when I came back, the only part that was not perfect it was just a little bit around my chin but because I was I think I was rubbing myself or something like that wearing mask it, it, it's uh, there is a little bit of transfer in the mask but it's not that you will see uh, lines on your face or anything like that mm, in terms of the uh, how comfortable it was during the day super comfortable I didn't feel it at all uh, and also what it's really uh, good that I have seen is that it's not um, it's not over uh, shining uh, so depending on your skin uh, you can set the foundation as I do even though I am uh, I am more on the um, sensitive and dry skin with just the setting in the morning I didn't have to touch up during the day it was perfectly fine to me this could be one of my new uh, favorite in the last couple of weeks I tried also another foundation that's the Givenchy Prise Libre um, and I will if you want I can review that with you as well and I also got finally because I was <laughs> I was waiting for that for so long my Westman Atelier um, this is a stick foundation I also um, tried this one uh, and so let me know if you would be interested in seeing also those two foundations I have opinions obviously about those two foundations as well uh, I would love to hear uh, from you did you enjoy this one uh, do you want something different please let me know in the comment again thank you so much if you decide to subscribe i hope to see you in my next video for now ciao Mwah.